Hey, good morning, church family. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I know you're saved out there. Welcome to this morning, 714. Yes. Now listen, happy to happy to be here with you again. I'm speaking to the one, if, I, if you give me just a moment. Speaking to the one out there who may not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're scrolling through your phone, you're looking for something. Hey, you might be looking for Jesus and you don't even know it. Listen, I'm going to tell you how easy it is to get saved, to have Jesus come and live in your heart, and that is to believe in your heart that you that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the, for the forgiveness of your sins. Amen. And that on the third day, God rose him from the dead so that you can have eternal life with him in heaven. So easy. you got to get past your unbelief and start believing. You believe in your heart. You say with your mouth, Lord Jesus, I need a Savior. Will you yes. be my Lord and my Savior? Amen. Jesus will step into your life. And I like to say it like that because that's how it feels to me. He'll step into your life. He'll come into your heart. He will change you from the inside out. Hallelujah. And your life will never be the same. You'll look back at your old life and you'll be like, Psh, what was I thinking? Yeah. God wants to change your life. Mm -hmm. But you've got to let him in. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thanking God for his word, this opportunity to take his word and share it with his people. Also, thanking our pastor. Amen. For the yeah. assignment. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, uh, and Pastor. we love doing this. Listen, our, our Pastor Rick Lopez from the Resurrection Life Church, I'm going to throw this out there also. If you're out there and you don't have a home church, you're looking yes. for one. Listen, look no further. Resurrection Life Church in St. Louis, Michigan yeah. is the perfect church for imperfect people. And listen, that's you and I. We're imperfect. Are, are, are you perfect? No. Nope. <laughs> we are not perfect, my friends. But listen, God wants to work some stuff into us, into us and he wants to work some things out of us. Yes. Amen. And, it's good, and he's, he will perfect us one day, but not today. Amen. So I want to share something with you uh, that the Lord put on my heart. As I was driving down the road, and I'm seeing all the, all the farmers out there harvesting their crops whether it be corn or beans or beets. Then I see one farmer who looks like he's sowing. Looks like he's planting. I'm guessing it's winter wheat. I'm not a farmer, but that's, that's just my guess. Amen. And uh, so I'm thinking, that's, that's when it dropped in my spirit, it dropped in my heart, seed time. Hello. We think with our natural eye, we look and we see that it's harvest time. But listen, folks, it's seed time. It's time to sow seed. Uh, we, a couple of weeks ago, I, st I talked about our tithing, all right? Tithing and giving. And uh, this is seed time and harvest. You want to see a harvest in your life? Plant some seed. We know that as we are giving to the church, our tithes and our offerings, amen? That's planting seed into the kingdom of God. But there's more, amen? There's more. There's... There is, listen, there's a, there's a uh, program right now. The gift goes on at Resurrection Life Church. That's a debt that needs to be paid. This is your opportunity. Somebody say opportunity. Opportunity. Oh, thank you. Opportunity for you to sow, sow more seed. See a greater harvest. Amen. I want to tell you, I told you a few days ago uh, about the, I gave away three cars. I've received five. Amen. No. This is a testimony. This is true. And, and this, this is how God works. I sow. Somebody needs a car. I give it to them. When I need a car, somebody gives it to me. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Listen, I don't know how it works, but that's, that's how it works for me. Hallelujah. I gave away a bass guitar one time. Listen, I said to God, I said, I need, I need an acoustic guitar. I guess specific. Now, I said, I, I, I'd like an American-made acoustic guitar. A couple days later, this kid comes knocking at my door. He said, "God told me to give you this." I said, "Buddy, didn't didn't you just buy this? It was a brand new, a brand new American-made Ovation acoustic guitar." Now listen, I love that guitar. It's awesome. It's been a great friend to me all this time. But that's I I gave away a guitar, a bass guitar, and I received the guitar that I wanted. I should have said Gibson. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> hallelujah. But I'm telling you, God supplies all our needs. Does he not supply all our needs, honey? Yes, he does. He most certainly <laughs> does. And, and it's God who, who gives us, listen, 
He gives us uh, all the tools that we need. All right, he gives us that. I want to tell you this, a, a quick story about a man who needed a job. All right. He's driving down the road. All right. He needs a job. He looks up on the billboard. This is the job of his dreams. Apply. Da 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 da. He takes down the information. He goes and applies. Guess what God done? This is, listen, I, I, I skipped a part. This man is a giver. He believes in seed time and harvest, and he gives to God in his kingdom. This guy gets the job, all right, of his dreams. That's the job that he wanted. He drives past the same billboard the following day. Guess what? That billboard didn't say that anymore. That was for a specific time for him. It was seed time and harvest. He harvested a new job that he, listen, he wanted it. He needed it. And God supplied it. Somebody say amen. Amen. Listen, I can tell you stories. Uh, people, a woman who needed groceries, hallelujah. She needed groceries in her house. She should begin to cry out to God. And uh, her next door neighbor, he heard her crying out to God. He, he, he goes and, which is, he's not a believer. I have to say that. I have to throw that in there. He goes and buys a bag of groceries. He puts it on her door. Knocks on the door and runs and hides. She comes to the door and she sees this bag of groceries and begins to cry out to God, Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, for you supply all my need. He jumps out from behind the bushes and says, God didn't give that to you. I did. She begins to cry out to God all the more. Lord Jesus, you supply all my needs and you use the devil to do it. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny, right? Yeah. But, but he, does, he does supply. He, he supplies, does. and he'll, listen, he'll even use the devil to do it, amen? That next door neighbor of yours that doesn't love Jesus? <laughs> listen, he needs Jesus just as much as you and I do, amen? Amen. Amen. It's time to sow seed, amen? And it's seed time every day. I, you, can't look at, you can't look at it naturally. You can't look at the fields and say, well, they're harvesting. It's harvest time. No, in the natural it is. In the spiritual, it's seed time. Amen? Amen. It is God who gives us the ability to get wealth. Yep, yep. And that is in what, Deuteronomy it's 8? Deuteronomy 8, 18. Amen. Yep. Yeah. And he says, hey, listen, be thou, this is in the old King James, amen. Uh, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who giveth thee power to get wealth. It's God who gives us the power to get wealth, amen. Amen. It is God who gives us the power to get wealth. He wants you to, he wants that in your spirit. Amen. Uh -huh. That he may establish his covenant. God's made a covenant with us. Amen. Which he swears unto thy fathers as it is this day. Somebody say this day. This day. That means today. Amen. Sow some seed. Amen. Above your tithe, above your offering. Sow some seed. Hey, here's this program. The gift goes on. Hey. Sow some seed. It's your chance. That's, don't miss your opportunity. Yeah. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I just pray right now, Lord God, that those who heard this word, receive it and believe it. Amen. And begin to walk in that. Walk in that seed time and yes. harvest. Begin to believe it. Yes. Deep within. Yes. And they're walking it out, Lord God. That They're walking that scripture, those scriptures out with you, and they believe it and want to be sowers yes. of seed time. Amen. Sowers of that seed yes. into your kingdom, God. And as they do so, Father God, you will bless them more than they can even handle, God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. So listen, we love you, yes. praying for you. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Amen. Peace. Peace.